Hello and welcome CAD CAM Explorers. For this tutorial we will be making a sailor's cap. So the first thing you want to do is get into Onshape, so log in, and then go to Create Document and Sailor's hat or cap <clears throat> and um, so from here you're in the 3D modeling area so you're gonna start by making a sketch on the top plane so what we're gonna be doing is creating sketches and then adding 3D features which are up here to those sketches so the first thing you do is click on sketch and now you need to select the top plane you can either select it here in the design space or you can select it select it over here and this is this is kind of like um like a history of everything that you do and then you can go back and edit the history so to be in order to be in 3d space you need these three planes um, so we're going to click on the top plane and we're going to begin sketching. So to get normal to this uh, first sketch, because uh, sketches are 2D um, and looking directly at them can be helpful. So we're going to click on N to get normal to that sketch. We are then going to click on center point circle or the hotkey is C. So if I hit the hotkey C, notice it toggles it off. If I want it to toggle it back on, I click C. So if I create something and I want to get rid of it, say I create a circle up here and I don't want it up there, I'm just going to click Escape. If I, and notice how it escapes out of that function. If I create a circle there and I don't want it there, I can just hit Control Z or I can hit this back arrow. Control Z gets rid of that. So I do want to create a circle. So C to toggle it back on. And I'm going to go into the origin. I'm going to click on the origin and extend the circle out a bit. About there is fine. We're not, we're not going to work with um, dimensions that need to be super specific so we don't need to make sure that this is exactly two or whatever because we're just we're just making some shapes here we're then going to extrude this circle or shift e is the hotkey so extrude the circle and then i want to look at the circle where it's extruding to so i'm going to arrow key up to see this circle so that's a little bit too high. I'm, I'm kind of making the um, beginning part of that sailor's cap, the um, part that your head fits into, like where the strap would be. And I'm going to bring this down a little bit because I don't want it too large. About there looks good. And I'm going to check it off. So I'm going to make the brim here uh, a black or maybe a, maybe a blue. So I can right click into this part one, select it, right click and edit appearance. And I'm going to do a navy blue. So that looks good to me. Now I am going to make another sketch. Um, and we don't really need these planes anymore because um, now that we have our object, we're just going to be adding on to it. Um, so for now, I can just click on the P key and it hides the planes. So now the planes aren't in anywhere. But if I wanted to draw on a plane, I can just go over here and click on the plane again. Or if I want to see a plane, I can click on show the plane. So um, the next part of this is going to be another sketch. And I'm going to 
draw on top of um, the hat here. And I'm going to make it a circle. And to get normal to this sketch again, I can click N or I can just click on the top here and I'll get normal to the sketch. For this circle, I'm going to want it a tiny bit bigger than, um, than that first portion and then check it off. Arrow key up to see what I have. That looks good to me. I'm then going to create the top part of the sketch of the, of the, um, of the hat. So what I need to do is create a plane on the top here. So if I look at the planes, oops. So if I look at the planes by clicking P, again, that's the hotkey to show all the planes. I am going to create a plane by referencing this top plane and then putting it somewhere on the top where, where I want my hat to end. So I'm going to click on plane and I'm going to click on the top, this top plane. And now if I go to the front view, I can see kind of where this, where it will end. Um, and that actually looks pretty good. Uh, that looks like it'll be a good size. So I'm going to check it off. Now again, if I don't want to see any of these planes, I'm just going to click on P. But I do want to see my the plane I just created, so I'm going to click on the eyeball there. So now I can see that plane, and I'm going to draw on it. So I'm going to click on Sketch. I'm going to click on Plane. And then I'm going to go to the top, and I'm going to create the top part of the hat. Another circle. Go to the center point here. And this one I'm going to want a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to arrow key to see if that looks pretty good. And it, I think it looks pretty good. We'll check it off. And now we have, again, I can hide that plane if I just want to see the shapes here. And now I can see the top part of the hat and the bottom part of the hat. Um, I just need to connect those with a 3D feature. So the 3D feature that we're going to use is called Loft. And I'm going to select Loft. And I'm going to select those two pieces, the two hat, uh, the two pieces of the top of the hat. And that that is this piece here and this piece here. Um, oh, it's getting confused with, um, okay, so maybe select the sketch here and select the sketch here. So that's, that's how we had to do that. So again, how I did that, um, again, this is like your history. So if you're having a hard time clicking in the design space, you can highlight the design space by going over to your history. So again, it's loft. I am going to select this sketch here on the top of the, um, the bottom portion of the hat. And then I'm gonna select the other circle that I created on that plane and check it off. So um, with this with this piece, um, I actually I actually wanted a different color. So I'm going to select the face and I'm going to select the top. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, right click, add appearance to two faces, and I'm going to select an off white. And I got the I got the um, the cap. So now I just need to add the brim, and we'll be good. So I'm going to add the brim by going to the right face. I'm going to be going to the right face, and I'm going to going to 
draw the um, not the sorry the the front the front I'm going to be going to the front space here it doesn't matter you could actually do the right um, but I want to be in the front and um, I'm going to show this plane so I actually have the plane showed and shown and I'm going to draw in um, the brim with two circles so I'm going to create another sketch select the front plane and I want this sketch to be in the middle I'm trying to I'm trying to get a sketch in the middle of this object so I'm going to create a reference line so I'm going to hit L for line notice how that toggles it and then Q for construction and construction lines are used to line objects up to make certain geometry and they are not included in the 3D process. So I'm going to just create a reference line that goes through the center of my part. And I did that through the origin. And now I have a spot for the circle to go. So I'm going to create a circle. And I'm going to come down here because I, I don't want it to be a, a super curved um, brim. And I'm going to come up. And again, this is going to be a, a guesstimate. We'll go to about there. And then I'm going to make another, another circle from the center point, from that same center point. And I'm going to make it to about there. And now I'm going to create a couple lines. So line command. And I'm going to make this come down a bit to there. Escape to get out of that function. And then the line command again. And from there to there. Escape to get out of that function. And now I'm going to trim with M. So trim is the M key or that scissor toggle. And I'm just going to trim out those two portions. And I'm going to extrude the brim. And when I extrude the brim, I'm going to want it to be new. And I'm going to look to see if that's how far I want it. And I'm going to pull it out a little bit more here. And then check it off. So if I look to see how my brim looks, not too bad. And then I can right click on the brim, add appearance, make it black, make it whatever color you want, um, hide the plane hide the origin and now I got a little sailor's cap now I, I could I could keep going and cut cut things out underneath but um, I think it's good enough for a beginner tutorial and um, another thing I wanted to show you is you can actually take a screenshot or a picture of this um, and you can change the perspective shaded without edges to make it look a little smoother. You can turn a perspective view on. So as you rotate it, things sort of jump out at you. And um, to take a, to take a, get the picture of it, you're going to go to print and then download image. Um, so download image and if you open that image up you'll notice you have your sailor's cap so good luck with this uh, make sure to ask any questions if you if you get in some trouble along the way good luck